Oh, it's all over now. Panic ensues. You should probably sell the uh, news. Guys, Bitcoin overdose here. Your daily dose of crypto. I overdose so you guys don't have to. Definitely go follow me over at Bitcoin Overdose on Twitter. And definitely hit that subscribe button somewhere down in this corner. But guys, right now, I'm only looking at the king himself, Bitcoin. Today, we're going to go over some price actions, some future movement that I see happening, and the short contracts and how they're kind of piling up right now and what that means for possibly a short squeeze in the market. Who knows? Um, I'm looking at some targets. I'm looking at some entry points. And I'm also got that fiat on the side because I think everybody should. Um, you know, if you need an extra, jo extra job just to get fiat, go for it, guys. I really don't care. Right now, this market is looking very ripe. A lot of altcoins are looking like they're kind of settling on the bottom um, we can take a look at cryptocurrency market cap you see a 41 percent bitcoin dominance which means that number is about to change i don't know if it's going to go up to 50 percent like i've been saying the last couple of weeks maybe 45 before this flush out really happens but the total market cap is still hanging around those support levels at around 250 270 that area i mean we've seen it hit this a couple times um before December of last year, we saw it stay around 300 for a long time. And right now we're about 255. So it's a low point, but you know, all in all, it's still up quite a bit from, you know, last year. And I don't know guys, whenever, whenever I see this, you know, like these right before these big booms, that's what we saw last year. I mean, November, we saw about 242 and it jumped up to about 800 in just a matter of two months. Um, right now, we're coming back down to those previous levels that before we saw that gigantic boom. And if you look at the altcoin market cycles, they are all about on that bottom, their own bottoms at least, relative to Bitcoin's price. And usually that's what you see about, um, you know, to happen. Guys, these whales have been playing this game forever. They know, they understand how altcoin cycles work. And they completely know that people tend to sell the bottom because they think it's going to go lower for whatever reason. And then what will happen is it just switches up real quick. And these things end up pumping, you know, 10, 20% a day for like two months. And we've seen it happen time and time again. Guys, even today, I was just looking over the... And okay, maybe this isn't going to only be about the king because... I don't know. You you guys have to understand this. Um, we've seen this so many times. We can go to library credits right now. Um, oh, maybe not. Maybe uh, is it LBC? Yeah, here we go. LBC. Um, we can look at this right here, and we can see it's at sixteen hundred sats. Now, there's a little bit more of a floor to this, but if you look in the three day chart. Um, or the one day chart, you can see that the bottom is forming right about where it was before it blew up back in early April, um, you know, February last year. Uh, you can see it here again in December of last or November of last year, December of last year. You can see it here again, possibly here in July this year. I don't know. I I've just seen this so many times. It just comes right down to its support and then it bounces up and I don't like I said guys you can check probably every single fucking coin and you'll probably see this pattern forming it, it's just it's everywhere right now and that's usually when the whales know the pump because they've they played this game for the last eight years guys they completely understand the last 10 years they completely get it now, maybe this one could die out a little bit more, but notice how it did pump after I talked about it two days ago. Um, you know, like, that's the thing. These these values tend to hold about half of what they had last time. So, um, say the pump started at about, uh, we'll say, 750 sats, all right? The next pump that'll hold will be about half or 50% of that up. So about, you know, 1500, 1600, that area. And then these things start to pump again. So usually, you know, if you keep looking at these, if you keep 
finding the ones that you think are going to have a good year or whatever they are. Even even shit coins are going to have probably a pretty good year once this money starts flowing back into this market because people get confident. And that's usually like the chain of effect that happens. It's called FOMO if you guys have never heard of it. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm just, I'm, I keep finding these altcoin bottoms and I think we are nearing some type of a market reversal. I don't know what we'd exactly call it, but notice how it like, what, 588 up to about a thousand and we're chilling up in that area like it's just time and time again these things are finding bottoms now maybe they're not all the way there yet but they're getting awfully close and usually there'll be an accumulation period for a really long time before these things actually end up popping you know it'll be a couple weeks a couple months but we are just nearing the bottom on so many different altcoins right now and this is just i'm telling you as like I've seen whales play this so many times back and forth again. Like look at this 105 up to about 800 and it comes all the way back down to a full retrace. And ugh, these are crazy. These are nuts. Like when are you ever going to see coins like this that are that cheap? Now maybe they don't mean anything. Like music coin, I don't see that lasting longer than five years or whatever. But just the fact that it's coming down to those previous levels that we saw before that pump in November, December, and before that pump in the beginning of 2017, we are finding so many of those coins that are down there like that. Like, look at EMC squared or whatever, Einsteinium, whatever this coin is. I don't know what it does. But look, at it's, it's all the way back down to its November high or November low. And it's just ridiculous. I don't know if you guys are going to buy here. I know I'm going to wait for Bitcoin to make a move first, which we should probably talk about now. I get so off topic, guys. It's been, what, seven minutes in already, and I'm not even to the point that I wanted to talk about. Okay, so I'm looking at the Bitcoin price right now, okay? And Bitcoin's hovering around 6,100, holding support from last time that we've hit these lows um, back in, what was that, February, like the 1st of February. And we hit about 6,080 or 6,040. It went directly down and then we saw a pop and we saw a mini rally up to about 11.7 twice, actually. So, you know, we've, we've seen this level before we've hung in there before, but we didn't, we did not get the volatility we wanted guys. This is the thing with this, this long of a market drag out, there's barely any volatility happening. And it's going to be a slow bleed out at this rate. Like if we don't get some massive buy order, massive sell order, it's going to be a really slow, just take steps down, taking steps down. And it's going to get really annoying for a lot of people. I think a lot of people are going to sell here. Um, I'm not calling for like a 3k Bitcoin by any means. I don't think it'll get that low. I don't think we'll hit that 2,900. I don't think, I mean, again, 2000 is my floor. I don't want to see 2000. Bitcoin because I think that'd be the end of Bitcoin for a while like I think we wouldn't see anything happen for probably two or three four years but I think you know the way that this market's dropping right now it's just low volatility there's not many bounces the bounce plays are slow to um just not a lot enough volume coming in or leaving and I wish we could see a dramatic sell off really quickly and then see this thing just V bottom back up like we saw back here and like the 11.7 down to about 50 or 6,000 range. And then we just saw that thing V bottom back up. And you guys got to look for the V. So, you know, the fact that we aren't seeing that, we're seeing a very slow market sell off and it's just drag like just gradually dropping down a level dropping down a floor going up maybe a couple hundred bucks and then back down the fact that we've just been seeing that since this heavy trend reversal up here at about um nine thousand ten thousand area or yeah it was like ten thousand i remember it hit like nine thousand eight hundred twice or something and then just slowly just descended out and that's really too bad um I mean, we see a lot of support here, so maybe maybe we'll get some drastic sell-off and then a good bounce off of 5,600 or 5,800. Um, but we need a lot of volume to confirm either direction we're going to go, and we're not going to get that. If we don't get that, it's going to be a really, really just gradual sell-off until probably like 5K is. 
I that's where I'm aiming personally. Um, again, I bodge that between like now fifty eight hundred and five thousand. Um, if it does get lower, I mean, people are saying like four forty four hundred, forty five hundred. I don't think anybody knows. So the fact that nobody knows is just enough to tell you that nobody knows. You know, and even professional traders don't know how to trade this. So the fact that I'm looking at the amount of Bitcoin shorts just over the last two days has gone up significantly. Just in the last hour, we've seen quite the rise. And that means that a lot of people are trying to short Bitcoin right now. So a lot of people are betting that the price of Bitcoin is going to drop. And that means that they are putting a lot of money on the line to say that this is going to go lower than 6,100 or 6,000. I guess, and then you probably said to stop at 5,800 or whatever, whatever people are doing. So there's a lot of contracts happening right now that are shorting the market. Now, after this much of a sell off in just the last day, that is really risky because that means somebody could just come in, buy the price up to about 63. Okay. And then it would like short every shorter out, I guess, or it make them force them to buy and make them go long. And then you, you'd have like a short squeeze is what they call it. It's really called essentially it just buys the price back up and we could probably see a $6,800 Bitcoin in no time with all the short contracts that are happening. But if that doesn't happen and the shorts win, we're probably going to see a lot faster of a drop and we're probably going to see a leg down to about 57, 5,800, that area. And that's when it's a little bit risky for me because we've seen this area trade in here forever. I mean, we've seen 6,000 down to about 5,100, 5,300, 5,700. We've seen that so many times over in October of last year. And that was like right before we saw an altcoin cycle. So altcoin and Bitcoin cycle, I should say, before we saw everything. So I guess if we can trade successfully in this range for a really long time and just consolidate, kind of get our wits about us before we get ready for something else, that would be great. If we see this thing drop really quickly and V bottom up, that would be even better. Um, right now, I mean, I'm just holding position. I don't know. I don't know if anybody wants to play this right now. It's a scary game, guys. It's risky. You got to be very careful about, you know, doing anything. And again, this is not financial advice. I'm just some idiot with a webcam talking on a video camera to a bunch of people who probably aren't even listening at this point. But the fact that there's so much going on in this market right now with price movements. And I mean, just yesterday we saw, or two days ago, we saw like $6,700 Bitcoin down to $6,100 Bitcoin in just a matter of a couple hours. And, you know, that, that ruins your Friday night right there for sure. But I just hope that, you know, we figure out a direction we want to go in. And I hope it happens fast because the faster that it happens, the quicker we're going to get the weak hands out. Um, you know, I'm holding, hodling pretty much till zero. Uh, but besides, you know, a couple hundred bucks for rent and whatnot. But I mean, that's, that's not a big deal, guys. And then, um, you know, like you just gotta, you just gotta keep your wits about you in here. Uh, this is going to be a very, very interesting time for Bitcoin. And I know I've been talking about it a lot, but the MACD on the monthly is just about to, uh, smack off of each other. I think we have to close above 6,600 in the month of June in order to maintain this kind of bull market that we've been chilling in for a while now. And that does make about sense. It's about 6,500, 6,600 to close this month. That's the most important number to me, if if we close below this and we start selling off a little bit more, guys, that's a that's a death cross right there on the monthly, and that means that we're not in a bull market. We that would officially declare a bear market. Um, I know not a lot of people talk about this, and I don't know why, but it needs to be said, guys. The month the monthly MACD is the biggest crossover. If we get that death cross, it's done. Okay, like, I don't know how much further we're going to drop, um, but it's going to be violent. You know, maybe we'll cross back in a second, but it's going to be volatile. It's going to be very, very strong to the sell side. Um, 
and you know, yeah, again, like that would put us back in this like two thousand dollar range. Two thousand dollar Bitcoin, ninety percent retrace. It's nuts. That's that's huge. Um, I know a lot of people on Twitter right now are talking about how like, oh, like a year ago you'd have been. I mean, again, guys, at Bitcoin overdose on Twitter. Um, but I know like a year ago the price was twenty seven hundred dollars. For one Bitcoin and now it's like 6,100 and if you guys knew that you were going to double your money last year around this time in a year you probably would have went all in you know what I'm saying and you never would have expected 20k and that wouldn't have never been like a thing so I think if you're looking at like the yearly obviously every year something's you know Bitcoin keeps going up um, minus the two year bear market that we had last time we had a bear market now again if we get a bear market here for two years with a lot more money involved, that's going to be scary for a lot of people. I don't think people are ready for that. Um, I know I'm not. I don't want it to be. I, I want this to be in a bull market for at least another year or two. Um, I, I was thinking three years. Like, I mean, you know, I got in down here. I, I was thinking like a three-year bull cycle. You know what I'm saying? Because this is such a revolutionary technology. I mean, that's, that's all I know. I'm hodling the zero. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm just a psychopath who, you know, just wants to see this project do really well. I don't know. But again, I'm looking on the monthly, monthly MACD. And if that crosses over down here, that is a rough patch for Bitcoin. Again, guys, with all these altcoins kind of lining back up for new cycles, you know, just higher valuations, they're always going to have a little bit higher than last time because when you get these giant pumps like there's a lot of money who stays in and like I said guys we've seen this time and time again uh, maybe not on ripple it's not on ripple yet but look at this it comes directly down to where it was before it pumped and you know maybe maybe these valuations go down a lot more maybe they go down to like before 2017 and that would be in like 2000 Bitcoin, $2,000 Bitcoin. I hope that wouldn't happen. You know, they could. I don't want to just say, oh, I hope it's not going to and then act like it can't. You know, but just with all of these altcoins, man, I think we are putting in something in place. I don't know. I, I really hope I'm right. I really hope I'm, I'm right about the altcoin cycle starting back up. And that means that Bitcoin also has to start going back up first. You know, Bitcoin plays first. And then we watch everything else. So, keeping an eye on Bitcoin, guys. I do it for you. I overdose, so you guys don't have to. Definitely go follow me over at Bitcoin Overdose on Twitter. Hit that subscribe button. Um, link is down below for Twitter. And also, you know, add me on Snapchat or something. You guys can find me, I'm sure, on there. But definitely, stay tuned. I got more more content coming every day. You already know. Uh, I overdose. So you guys don't have to. One Bitcoin still equals one Bitcoin. Even though it says 6100 you can still buy all coins for pretty cheap. So you guys stay tuned. Peace out. And I'm hoping for the best. Hopefully we get a good dip so you can buy it.